Hello everyone, I am Dr. Godhanda Raman. In this section, we are going to discuss with Halley-Hamilton theorem. Look at the problem. Verify Halley-Hamilton theorem. Find a power 4 and a inverse when a matrix given. Look at the matrix 3 row 3 column. 2 minus 1, 2, minus 1, 2, minus 1, 1, minus 1, 2. So first of all, in this problem, Write the characteristic equation. First, characteristic equation. So, what is a characteristic equation? A minus lambda i determine 0. From the matrix A square matrix, i unit matrix, lambda eigenvalue. Therefore, 2 minus lambda minus 1 2 minus 1 2 minus 1 1 minus 1 2 minus lambda this is a 2 minus lambda determine equal to 0 if you know how to expand the determine you just proceed based on the expansion but now we are mentioned the short form lambda q so when expanded this determine 3 cross 3 coming with cubic polynomial lambda q s1 lambda square s2 lambda minus s3 equal to 0. So now from the matrix so this is a matrix okay from this matrix to calculate first of all s1 value. So what is a s1? s1 is nothing but sum of the main diagonal element main diagonal elements what is the main diagonal so this is our diagonal main diagonal element therefore 2 plus 2 plus 2 6 so this is a main diagonal and what is a s2 s2 sum of the minors of main diagonal elements so now first of all the matrix look at this matrix this first diagonal 2 only I am taking first diagonal in this diagonal you leave the row and column Therefore, this is our minor matrix. What is a minor matrix? 2, minus 1, minus 1, 2. This is our minor matrix. Plus. Then, next, second diagonal. So, what is the second diagonal? This diagonal I am taking 2. From this, again, you leave the column. row and then what is the minor matrix 2 2 1 2 plus so another diagonal minor matrix another diagonal minor matrix so this is a 2 for this diagonal minor matrix is nothing but to leave this row and column therefore 2 minus 1 minus 1 2 so this is a determine to calculate this to multiply first to this 2 okay multiplication first to this 2 so 2 into 2 4 minus next to this 2 so when I multiply this 2 next minus of so first you multiply this 2 into 2 4 minus of minus 1 minus 1 into 1 plus 2 into 2 4 then minus 2 plus 2 into 2 4 minus 1 therefore this is a 3 2 3 so, this is a value 8 so s2 yes 8 and then s3 
S3 equal to determinant of A. So what is the determinant of A? 2 minus 1, 2. Minus 1, 2, minus 1. 1, minus 1, 2. Take this determinant. So when I am taking for this determinant to choose any row or any column. So when I am taking this first one. Suppose I am going to choose this first row. I am selected this row. Therefore, when I selected this row, first you select first element 2. In this element, leave this row and column. So, therefore, what is the value of here? 2 into 2 minus 1 minus 1 2. For here, what is the formation of this? Plus minus plus. So, next term, minus of minus 1. When I am taking the other term, what is the other term? So, other term is nothing but second, this element I am choosing. When I am choosing this element, again you leave this row and column. Therefore, minus 1, minus 1, 1, 2. Then plus 2 in 2. So, other one. This third one. What is the third one? I am taking this third element. Again you leave the row and column. Therefore, we have minus 1, 2, 1 minus 1. Therefore, 2 into multiply this two term. 2 into 2, 4 minus 1. Plus 1 into minus 2 plus 1. 2 into 1 minus 2. Therefore, 2 into 3, 1 into minus 1, 2 into minus 1, 6 minus 1 minus 2. This is a 6 minus 3, 3. So, yes, 3, 3. Now, what is the term? Yes, 1. So, yes, 1, 6. Yes, 2, 8. Yes, 3, 3. Now, lambda q. Yes, 1, lambda square, 6, lambda square. 8, lambda. Then, minus 3 equal to 0. So, the determinant easy when you, we are using... Uh, uh, calculator now from the cubic polynomial to calculate using calculator also so therefore synthetic division so now from this cubic polynomial use the synthetic division now the constant 1 coefficient minus 6 8 minus 3 so when taking any number suppose I am taking any number so this is a going to continue with after eigenvalue eigenvector but now we are using Haley Hamilton theorem. This value is not necessary to calculate. So just you stop up to this. Don't find any eigen values. You just cubic polynomial. This is a cubic polynomial. Now, what is the characteristic equation? Characteristic equation is nothing but so every square matrix satisfies its own characteristic equation. Therefore, I should write by the Haley Hamilton theorem. By Haley Hamilton theorem, a cube six a square eight a minus three i equal to zero. So this is a Haley Hamilton theorem formation I written here. Now I want to calculate because I want to first verification first verification then inverse and then power so what is a verification first verification 
so in this verification first to calculate a square a square is nothing but a into a so what is a a into a a matrix 2 minus 1 2 minus 1 2 minus 1 1 minus 1 2 this is a matrix so this is a a square now when i multiply so using calculator so how to use calculator the first video i posted please refer the video it will be easy for multiplying any given two matrix now what is the answer a square 7 minus 6 9 minus 5 6 minus 6 5 minus 5 7 so this is a a square matrix then a cube to calculate a cube is nothing but a into a square this is a multiplication a into a this is a a into a square so a term 2 minus 1 2 minus 1 2 minus 1 1 minus 1 2 so this is a your a matrix a square this answer is a square what is the answer 7 minus 6 9 minus 5 6 minus 6 5 minus 5 7 this is a a square so when i multiply this two using manual or calculator now what is the value of this a cube a cube nothing but 29 minus 28 38 second row minus 22 23 minus 28 22 minus 22 29 so this is a a cube now what is the form a cube to verification of this a cube minus 6 a square plus 8 a minus 3 a equal to substitute a cube 29 28 38 minus 22 23 28 then 22 minus 22 29 this is the a cube matrix minus 6 into then a square this is a a square matrix and then a matrix plus 8 into a minus 1 2 minus 1 1 minus 1 2 then minus 3 into unit matrix 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 so when we are calculating so just if you scalar multiplication in outside you multiply with the individual all the term 8 multiply with every individual term 3 multiply with the individual term so from this every individual term to subtract or add you will be get the solution now the term should be 0 0 0 0 0 0 use the calculator when i'm getting this 0 0 0 now this is nothing but null matrix so what is a null matrix oh so a square 6 a square a cube 6 a square 8 a minus 3 i therefore it's verified when 0 verified then what is the next one to find a power 4 how to find a power 4 for this equation Haley Hamilton theorem equation to take it here 6 a square 8 a minus 30 i equal to 0 now multiply by multiply by a on both side so value will not change so what value are getting here a4 a cube a square a equal to 0 the question is to find a power 4 so a power 4 equal to 6 a cube 8 a square plus 3 a now you substitute a cube a square and a substitute a cube a square a then you will be get this answer is nothing but 124 minus 123 162 95 
So this is a a power 4. Then what is next to find a inverse. So what is a a inverse? As usual to take a cube minus 6 a square plus 8a minus 3i equal to 0 multiplied by a inverse on both sides. Therefore, when I multiply a inverse of this term, therefore, when I multiply a inverse, it will come a square 6a 8i 3a inverse equal to 0. Now, a inverse to take left hand side 3a inverse equal to when I shifted this a square 6a 8i. So, a inverse equal to 1 by 3 a square 6a plus 8i. So, now you substitute a square term already we know that a term given the problem and i unit matrix when I substituted then using calculator to calculate this. So, 0, 3, 0, minus 3, 1, 2, 0, minus 1, 1, 3. So, this is our given. So, this is our inverse matrix. Now, this problem what we have discussed? Verification and inverse powers. Thank you.